Hello everyone and welcome to the Missouri School Boards Association's board report for the month of May. We thank you for the opportunity to share some news and information during a few minutes of your board meeting. We begin with a look at budgeting challenges facing Missouri's public schools. While state funding for public education through the foundation formula has increased in recent years, there remains concern about the availability of state revenue to fund public education in future years due to tax cuts approved by the General Assembly. Former Deputy Commissioner of Education Dr. Ron Lankford says a major budget challenge on the local level is having a reasonable expectation of available revenue from state and local sources. There is an appropriation and the, the General Assembly will appro appropriate, but they cannot distribute more than what they have. And so an appropriation, there's certainly, a, uh, we should have a lot of gratitude for an appropriation, but if the revenue's not there going forward, then its ability to meet the appropriate level, and we've seen that many times, that uh, they couldn't meet that. So yes, that's always uh, something we should watch. Langford adds, state funding for school transportation has dropped dramatically over time. If you look at the amount that was appropriated last year, and the amount that was spent, which was $85 million, you have to go back about 35 years before it fell to that, uh, to that level. But if you look at a school bus 30 years ago, the cost of one compared to now. Uh, so what happens if you gain appropriated funds through the foundation formula, but the monies for transportation or the cost of transportation continue to go up, then you're really just, instead of funding transportation, you're funding transportation now through the foundation formula or through local tax increases. State law sets a target of providing 75% of the cost of school transportation to local school districts. But right now, state funding is at about 30%, forcing local school districts to pick up a greater share of transportation funding. Langford discussed school funding issues during the recent Partners in Governance conference in Columbia. MSBA was a co-sponsor of the event, along with the Missouri Municipal League, the Missouri Association of Counties, and the Truman School of Public Affairs at the University of Missouri. Registration is now open for the 2018 MSBA Leadership Summit to be held June 2nd and 3rd at the Lake of the Ozarks. The theme of this year's event is Accountability in Leadership and will feature a number of general session speakers and breakout sessions related to that theme. The Leadership Summit also includes recognition of board members achieving the various levels of certification through MSBA, along with the Outstanding Boards of Education Awards. The June Delegate Assembly also meets during the Leadership Summit, where MSBA state officers are elected. This year's state officer nominees for the coming year are Rhonda Gilstrap of the Blue Springs Board of Education for President-Elect and Linda Doherty of the Nixa Board of Education for Vice President. Mike Pratt of the Gasconade County R1 Board of Education will become the new president of MSBA at the conclusion of the Leadership Summit. He served as president-elect during the past year. By the way, Mike Pratt also was elected to a seat on the National School Boards Association's Board of Directors during the recent NSBA conference held in San Antonio. Video interviews with the candidates are posted on the MSBA website in addition to registration information for the Leadership Summit. Nominations are now being accepted for MSBA's Legacy of Leadership Awards. The Legacy of Leadership Awards are designed to honor current and former Missouri School Board members who have distinguished themselves through community service and advocacy for public education. Honorees are outstanding Missourians who have given countless hours for the betterment of their communities and to advocate for the students in our public schools. These awards are sponsored by Future Builders, the nonprofit foundation of the Missouri School Boards Association. The Carter D. Ward Excellence in Advocacy Award is designed to recognize and honor an individual board member who exhibits exemplary leadership skills in the area of public education advocacy. The award is named for former Missouri School Boards Association Executive Director Dr. Carter D. Ward, whose career epitomized effective advocacy for public education. The Paul Morris Community Service Award was established to recognize and honor an individual school board member from Missouri, past or present, who has shown a sincere and outstanding commitment to community service. 
That award is named in honor of Paul Morris, a past president of MSBA, who devoted countless hours to strengthening his community and improving its schools through his volunteer work. Applications for both awards are open until June 28th and are posted on the Future Builders section of the MSBA website. Both awards will be presented at MSBA's annual conference this fall. That's it for this month's edition of the MSBA Board Report. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting, and so long from Columbia.